Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sunny, and in this video, we discuss about the newly launched model by OpenAI that is Sora. So, guys, uh, yesterday itself means uh, on Thursday, uh, OpenAI OpenAI has launched this uh, new model which is capable for generating the videos from the given prompt. So here you can check with the uh, Economics Times website. So they have written an article on top of it. OpenAI on Thursday announced the Sora, an artificial intelligence model that can create realistic video from the given text. So in this uh, particular video, we'll try to understand what is this Sora and how you can use it, uh, what it can do, what is the meaning of the video generation and where it lies in the generative AI. So step by step, one by one, we'll try to discuss each and everything in this particular video. So first of all, guys, uh, let me tell you the type of the generation. So if we are talking about the generative AI, right? So we have a different, different type of the data. And based on this particular data, we can uh, divide or we can categorize the task as well. So here, what I'm going to do. So here I'm going to open my blackboard and there basically i will explain you the uh, type of the generation even though i explain you in my previous video but yes again uh, let me give you the quick overview of it and then i will discuss the different different model which was already there related to the video generation based on the uh, transformer and all and i will show you the comprehensive uh, application of the attention all you need paper so here i have one research paper i will show you that particular paper with that easily you can understand so let's start guys uh, let's begin so here what i'm going to do i'm going to tell you the uh, the type of the generation so uh, if you are talking about the llm guys so here let me write the full form of the llm i think you know the full form of the llm llm is called large language model as you know that llm is nothing it's a large language model now this model actually it is having a capability so that it can generate something right so let's say uh, here i have a model so this is going to my generative model I, I can draw it over here this one so this is what this is my model now I, I can write the model over here this is going to be my model now if i'm passing any prompt to this particular model right so based on this particular prompt it can generate something so this this prompt this prompt basically which i'm passing here this is called input prompt what is this tell me this is called input prompt now here the output which we are getting that is called output okay output prompt or output now this input or output it can vary right based on a data basically so here this input it can be text or it can be image right and this output also this output also it can be text or image so here we can categorize here we can categorize our generation model into four category so the first category which is called homogeneous model which is called homogeneous model and the second category which is called heterogeneous model so that is called heterogeneous model now let's try to understand first about this homogeneous model now why we use this homogeneous model and what is the capability of this homogeneous model and then we'll see the different different example of it so we are talking about the homogeneous model so it is capable to generate something like uh, something text uh, something uh, text from text itself so text to text generation and the second uh, basically image to image generation image to image generation means both side actually you will find out the same data uh, here input side as well as to this output side right both side you will get a same data now if we are talking about the heterogeneous model so here left hand side you will find out the either you will find out the text or image or uh, here uh, basically uh, right hand side on the output side also you will find out the text or image so text to image generation and here image to text generation so this is called heterogeneous model so here how many categories we have we have a four category so uh, let me write it down over here so that you will get clear cut idea so we are talking about this text to text generation i think we we'll know uh, we already know about the model the model name is a gpt right so we use gpt and we have a different different variant of the gpt like gpt3 gpt3.5 okay gpt4 now this was capable to generate text from the text now we are talking about the image to image generation so image to image generation is also possible right so for that actually we have the stable diffusion model i think we know about the diffusion model 
so diffusion mo model actually these are the model which is are responsible for generating a uh, images okay so stable diffusion model is one of them now if we are talking about this text to image generation so here uh, i can write the model name so the model name is going to uh, the model name is going to be a mid journey i think we all know about the mid journey the model name is dali right which is responsible for generating text to image and the last one basically image to text so yes we are aware about this image to text also and we are couple we, we have a couple of model so recently we have seen this jimny provision jimny pro vision okay and we are aware about this gpt4 also gpt4 or gpt4 v okay we have two variant of the gpt so these are the different categories these are the different categories of the generation now where this video lies so here let's say this is my model so let let me draw my model over here let's say this is my model okay so here i can write my model it's going to be my model okay my model right or generative model basically uh, i can write it down here or uh, in the middle just a second so this is nothing this is my model now i'm passing the input to my model and i'm getting a output from my model and here here as a input basically what i'm doing as a input i'm passing the text so here i am passing the text and as a output what i am getting tell me as a output i am getting the videos so where this type of model lies so recently they have released the sora model but we have different different uh, we we have different other uh, like uh, alternative also so i will uh, talk about those particular alternative so apart from the sora uh, what all alternative we have and why this sora is very very important so here we are talking about this text guys so this text actually it's nothing it's a uh like collection of the tokens right now we are we are passing to our generative model so here it's going to be my generative model generative ai model and here uh we are getting a videos okay now this video first of all we'll have to understand about this video or let me write it down here the text so this text is nothing this text is nothing it's a collection of tokens okay it's a collection of tokens now here we are talking about the video so video is nothing actually it's a sequence of images okay it's a sequence of images or it's a sequence of images or i can say it's a sequence of frame now whenever i have to check the quality of the video so i'll always check with the fps right so whenever we have to check the quality of the video we always check with the fps now what is the meaning of the fps now if we are talking about the fps so fps is called frame frame per frame per second right so frame per second means in one second how many frame we are able to process means how many images we are able to process and that is nothing that is a video so yes now we have those type of model which is capable to like do something which is uh, capable to generate some sort of a video from the given text okay we can pass the prompt we can pass the prompt as a input okay we can we can pass the text prompt as a input and we can generate the video as a output now if, if we are talking about this video so this video is nothing this is the collection this is the collection of this is the collection of images this is a collection or sequence collection of the images i think you got to know that what is the meaning of this uh, like text to video generation so here we have a prompt and we are trying to generate a video now before the sora so let me write down the model that what all model we have for generating this text to videos right so here what i'm going to do i'm going to write it down the models and before sora so we have seen this open ai sora and before sora actually we were having a couple of model let me introduce with those a uh, model so the, here the second model is going to be a nova okay n u w a the third model which is a uh, capable to do like uh, this video generation that was the cog video okay cog video i will come to that i will show you the github repository also now the fourth one basically it was the runway generation 2 okay runway generation 2 so here i am writing some uh, famous model and the fifth model which was there okay for which which was capable for generating uh, the video from the given text that was the text to okay text to video zero text to video zero so these are these are the different different model which i have written over here so this uh, sora actually it's a latest model this is what guys tell me this is the latest model which uh, they have introduced uh, like yesterday itself and this nova actually it's a model from the microsoft it's a model of the microsoft which was responsible for generating a video now let's try to see the github or let's try to let's try to see the research paper of each and every models over here 
so here what i'm doing i'm showing you the nova model so here i have already like search about it and here basically what i'm getting i'm getting the research paper as well as the github repository of this uh model now here nova pytorch basically this model has been written completely in pytorch now here you will find out the complete source code source code of it and you can see like how many folks and how many stars is there with respect to this particular model okay now just go through with this model and here you will find out the complete code of it now how it is generating the how it is generating the images from the given text right so let me tell you the method behind generating the uh, like images or video from the text so if we are talking about the text guys so text is nothing it's a collection of tokens right so here you know what what they are doing so they are converting the text into the tokens after that each token basically they are using for generating the images okay generating the images and from this particular images they are generating the videos because videos is nothing it's a collection of the images that is a backend process but it is not like a easy like uh, so here you can you are seeing that i have risen in a easiest way right but it is not that much easy here actually the transformer model is being used okay they they are using the transformer model so i uh, let me give you the complete description behind each and every model i kept it somewhere let me a uh, copy and paste so with that you will get the clear cut idea uh, like regarding the other model as well and if you want to use for uh, text to video if you want to generate text to video basically definitely uh, you can use this nuba cog video runway generative ai text to video right but this open ai sora actually it is not available as of now but don't worry it will be available in some time and uh, I, i will show you the website just wait first of all let me give you the quick uh, description of this particular model so here guys you can see i kept all the description over here so if you are talking about this cog video so it's a text to video model it's a text to video model and here you can see for generating this video actually it is using this variational auto encoder and it is using this recurrent neural network right and it's a, it was the old approach so this cog to video basically it is not a uh, based on the transformer it is not based on the transformer now we are talking about this nuba so here guys this nuba actually it's a research of the microsoft and this is called a multi model so i uh, forget to tell you one thing so this uh, heterogeneous model actually it is also called the multi model why it is multi model because uh, if we are taking text then it is able to generate the images if we are passing the images then it is able to generate the text right so it is performing the heterogeneous task it is it is a multi model basically so this nuba actually it is based on the transformer right it is based on the transformer the attention all you need paper now here the runway generation 2 it is also a multi model and it is also able to generate a videos from that given text and it is also based on the transformer and here text to video generation so here you can see this particular model yes it is also a multi model and yes it is also like able to generate the videos from the given text and uh, here you can see like it is based on this uh, diffusion task right so and here all this also basically it is using the transformer in back end it is using the transformer architecture now one more thing i would like to show you here so here is a code of the nuba complete a code basically they have given to you apart from this they have provided the research paper as well so if you want to check with the research paper code and all then definitely you can do that in that they have defined they have mention each and everything now here you can see so like cog video is also there so once you will search about the cog video so you will get the uh, like complete a uh, code of the cog video and you can see the stars and the number of folks definitely people are using it somewhere definitely people are using it somewhere for building the applications and all right so here you can see the next one this is the text to video 0 and this github is also available over the google you just need to talk up you just need to check with the google text to video 0 okay and you will get the github of this particular tool now uh, here you can see this uh, new one so where is the one guys cog video is there okay nuba is there now here you can see one more okay i will come to that and here is a sora now what was the uh, last one so text to video runway generative ai nuba cog video yes let me show you this runway generation 2 uh generation 2 yes here is a, run, a runway generation 2 website now you will find out the code of this as well so just just click on the website of this runway research once you will click on it then definitely you will get the code of it as well so here you can see try generative 2 in runway try generative u for ios generative u uh, generative 2 explain join discord right 
now you can sign in and you can explore the website if it is required for you right so if it is required for you then definitely you can explore it and you can use it and here they have given you the couple of sample as well so how they are generating it uh, like how they are simulating it right so each and everything they have provided you over the website itself if it is required then definitely you can go through with it now i would like to show you one more research paper guys and this is a very important research paper if you want to like uh, if you want to do the mastery in transformer if you want to understand that where this transformer is being used what is the use of this transformer in that case in that case you should definitely go through with this research paper and this is a game changing research paper guys and here in this research paper they have defined that where people are using the transformer model so that what is the research paper name the research paper name is a comprehensive survey on application of transformer for deep learning tasks so here you will find out all the transformer based model along with its, its architecture so uh, let me show you let me show you the like application of this transformer see in the natural language processing so what all a task it is able to perform in the computer vision what all task it is able to perform what is the meaning of the multimodal right and here you can see whether we are able to convert the text into audio or uh, audio into the text everything basically they have defined over here they have guided in a specific way and this research paper basically it will give you the clear cut idea that where transformer is being used right so whatever like implementation or whatever like uh, experiment you have seen so far with respect to the transformer everything has been defined over here in this particular research paper uh, from the latest one to the uh, like uh, the legacy one right like bot or xlm or transformer or uh, like other model as well uh, we have like hundreds of hundreds of model based on the transformer now please go through with this particular research paper let me give you the name of it the name is uh, a comprehensive survey on application of transformer for deep learning tasks i hope you got it now the next thing is what we have understood the different different model right nuba uh, cog videos runway generation 2 text to video and now it's time to look into this open ai sora now let me tell you how this open ai sora is different from other model okay how it can be a game changing how it is trying to achieving the artificial general intelligence and at the end i will give you the uh, comprehensive or the like precise definition of the artificial general intelligence and uh, definitely after seeing this sora right after seeing the videos from this sora you will get to know about it so first of all guys let's check some videos so here guys you can see in this particular video here is a lady which is running over the street and this image actually it has been generated by the sora first of all let me zoom in so here you can see this is the lady which is uh, like walking on a street now now just see over here just just see over here uh, this is a street now here over the street basically uh, something is reflecting over the street right uh, here over the ground now just just see guys it is not looking like a natural one tell me it is not looking like a natural one now here let me show you one more thing let's say this uh, like uh, this girl is walking over the street right this woman is walking over the street now see the the jacket also it's like uh, going here and there according to the walk it's not like a natural one tell me yes or no now 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 see the completely now see completely this particular video so here you will find out see here actually in the in the like specs right so everything is reflecting in a, like a real time it's not like a dummy video or the the like a, it's it's a perfectly it's a perfect simulation right it's a like uh, like they are near to achieve this artificial general intelligence by using these type of models right and here is a capability of this sora right and this is not a single one you can see a multiple example you can see a multiple example how naturally it is able to generate the images see here if you will look into this particular video let me show you this one so here one car one car actually uh, or one jeep actually it is uh, driving over the hills now you can see it is driving and see here is a like a storm or something you can see right and how precisely this is able to generate a video and if you will look into the uh, latest news right so uh, in that they are saying it is able to generate a video up to one minute up to one minute is a very huge time with respect to this model as of now 
so yes guys we are near to achieve to uh, this uh, artificial general intelligence and this sora this type of model basically it will plays a very huge role in that and it's going to be become a very like a uh, very uh, innovative also right so in in like a near future you will you will find out like a many many application and uh, this war is going to be a very like a uh, interesting as well because now open ai is release someone something now tomorrow google will release something then microsoft then meta and this war is going to be a really very very interesting this ai war now here you can see the other uh, like video so let me show you one more video which i was looking in uh, basically so here the video was uh, just wait and with that video basically really you will be surprised uh where was the video okay so here is the video this one and uh, i think they have kept over here this one this one so that was a drone <laughs> like it was looking like that someone is uh, taking the video from the drone itself mm okay i think uh, it is here only let me check once okay it is eyes video now here what i can do i can show you this one yeah this one guys see this video now here this uh, elephant is walking over the eyes now see like they are walking over the eyes and some storm and all like uh, it's going to be a it's going to be there right and it is not like natural one so the model is able to generate this type of thing now here one more thing i would like to show you so see this one guys i was talking about this image now how beautifully it has generated means someone is capturing from the sky right someone is capturing from the drone i hope like now you got to know the like now you got to know the capability of it and specifically they have mentioned inside this section as going to be a game changing but here guys this is not available as of now this is not available for the uh, community right so it will be available in some time uh, you will uh, go through with the website and definitely you got to know that it's still it is in a testing phase and here you can see so in research basically you can check so research technique what all research technique basically they have used so sora is a diffusion model which generate a video by starting off with a one that look like static noise and gradually transform it by removing the noise over many step so actually sora is not capable here you can read more about it and how like basically they are near to achieve the artificial general intelligence definitely you will get to know about it now whenever this type of technology comes right so this safety actually this is a very major concern so here let me talk about couple of point and basically uh, with those particular point definitely uh, you will get to know that uh, it can be useful or it can be a harmful as well now here first of all what i can do i can talk about few advantage right so what is the advantage of it so here let me write it down the advantage of this sora now this sora actually it is able to understand the complex pattern right based on a prompt basically it is able to generate a data it is able to understand a complex pattern from the uh, data right based on a given prompt now the second thing basically it is able to understand the motion and all right it is able to understand the motion of the object and all right precisely the third one which i uh, which i observed that it is able to capture the details also it, it is like capturing the detail from the like data right so uh, based on a given prompt and it is it is like a beautifully doing this particular thing now we'll get to know once it will be released and we'll will check from our side that whether it is able to do this thing or not but whatever thing i have uh, like compared right with the other model so yes it is able to do these particular thing now the fourth one is the like it is like a more natural compared to the other model definitely it's a natural compared to the other model okay and here uh, basically it understand the physical world so it understand the physical world like it's not a like just a simulation okay it's 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 not like a cartoon simulation no it's a it's understanding the physical world it is understanding the natural world and that is the beauty of this sora model and soon it will be released and definitely you will get to know more about it now here is some disadvantage also so disadvantage is like a uh, there can be a disadvantage let me write the disadvantage over here the disadvantage is the first disadvantage basically it can generate anything based on a given prompt right and just just think over here guys i can give you a couple of example this advantage now first of all guys uh 
like safety concern is there related to this one okay now someone can generate the harmful content as well okay harmful content if let's say the fine tuning is there so we can train on our specific images specific images and based on that we can generate anything anything any sort of a video now now just think over here guys what we are providing what we are providing so definitely there should be some safety measure the harmful the related to the harmful content harmful harmful prompt and all there should be a some sort of a restriction okay now here uh, the fine tuning limit it should be a limited one means they should not uh, like allow to fine tune it maybe uh, initially basically so that like uh, companies or people can use accordingly okay so i i think you know the cel celebrity people so uh, like uh, the people are very very famous so uh, like they are having uh, their own uh, respect and all in the community so we can spread anything related to those uh, particular people let's say there is one political person okay is going to be participate in the election now what i can do i can generate any sort of a video any fake video related to that person and i can circulate so just just think guys how much like bad impact is going to be create getting my point now i think you have seen so one uh, south indian actress was there like rashmika mandana and someone has created a deep fake video of that actress right and uh, yes that's going to be a happen if like we are releasing this type of thing without any safety concern so this is going to be a very huge uh, disadvantage if we are not going to putting our regulations over here right so now guys uh, let me uh, conclude this video uh, giving uh, after giving you this artificial general, general intelligence definition so here let me uh, write it down over here what is the artificial general intelligence so i think you know that uh, this world actually it's a full of information let me write it down over here so we are talking about the artificial general intelligence so we know guys this world actually it's a full of information okay and here uh, as a human actually we are able to understand it as a human we are capable right human capable to understand it okay because human brain has evolved in such a way okay the brain of the human the intelligence of the human so before it was something else now it is something else okay so this human intelligence actually it's a great uh, gift of the god now it has evolved in such a way okay it's a great gift of the god it has evolved in such a way now it is a very very smart one okay a smart one so that it can capture this particular information and it can build something from here right now the same thing machine is going to do now the same thing is machine is going to do now machine actually what is trying to do is trying to read a same information from the world okay it's going to read the same information from the world and it's trying to achieve the same type of intelligence which human have and in a more smarter way now guys you know one human is not capable for everything now we are talking about let's say elon musk right so he's a intelligent person but he is not suitable for the prime minister right or the president of the us now let's say if we are talking about the barack obama so this obama actually he is a suitable for the president he is a political person but is not suitable for the like research and something so this one person is not capable for everything but here we are creating a model we are creating such model which is able to do everything means here we are creating such models okay we are trying to achieve the artificial intelligence is not artificial intelligence we are trying to achieve the artificial general intelligence means we are trying to create a one model which will be capable to do everything i hope you are getting my point that what is the definition of the artificial general intelligence and yes soon we'll see the advancement in this particular field and the war has begun already and yes we are now into the ai world uh, so guys if you haven't started learn ai then please start it if you want to know more about the ai and all artificial intelligence generative ai data science machine learning deep learning then please check out my channel so yes let's try to conclude the video in next video i will be coming up with many more information thank you guys thank you very much